Title IX prohibits sex discrimination in education. When it comes to sports, it requires that women and men be provided equal opportunities to participate in athletic activities. And it requires equal treatment when it comes to sports equipment, game schedules, locker rooms, and so much more. This year is the 50th anniversary of Title IX becoming law. And the NCAA Hall of Champions is celebrating with free admission all day today. Joining me is Assistant Director Kelly Dodds. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, we'll shake hands. <laughs> no, that was so great because I am so glad that you're here with free admission. This place is wonderful. If people haven't had the chance to go to the NCAA um, Hall of Champions in the museum that you have to offer, tell us about that. Yes. Um, Today is a day we're celebrating Title IX, and what a better way to do it than to have something for the community. Absolutely. So we're having free admission, but not only are we having free admission, so that'll begin when we open at 10 a.m., and we'll have things going on all day, but beginning at 3.30, we have mascots from all three of our Indianapolis schools coming, so Blue and Hink will be there, oh. Jaws from IUPUI, uh, Grady from the University of Indianapolis, so that the activities kind of ramp up beginning at about 3.30, We'll have a lot of photo opportunities, some basketball trophies you can get a picture with, uh, scavenger hunts with wow. prizes, and a lot of giveaways. So it's going to be really fun. Okay, so much to do. And if you've never been, I've had the pleasure of going not only for personal, but for work and got to really check out the entire museum. What can people do today when they go to this free event? Right, and that's, a great, you know, when the hall's free, great time to check it out. We have a lot of people that say, oh, I'm not really interested in sports, so I don't think I would like the Hall of Champions, but they find out that there's a lot to do. And we have 24 sports. It's not just football, basketball, and baseball, which yeah. those are great. We have fencing, we have bowling, we have uh, skiing. There's so many things for people to see with a gym and simulators and, and a lot of things to do. So much to do for really all ages too. While there's a lot for the kiddos to run around and play with, the parents you're gonna have fun too. So you'll have to check it out. Tell us a little bit about the exhibit called the Title IX Timeline. You helped bring this here and created it. Tell what people can have to expect for this. Yes, well we created something in special celebration of the Title IX, the 50th anniversary, and it's so important informative because people don't really understand Title IX necessarily. So it talks about not only how it began, but what's happened since exactly, and all the milestones. And we also have an interactive timeline that's a permanent exhibit in the hall where you can go up, you can touch it, you can see different moments in history. And that goes back actually to the late 1800s. Oh, wow. Why is it important to highlight also the female athletes, which I'm sure you guys have so much to offer and showcase them as well at the museum? Well, of course, uh, our female athletes do amazing of and incredible course. things. Mm -hmm. And some of the stories, if you go into our Hall of Honor in particular, you'll, you'll read stories about these student athletes who are 4.0, community service, uh, great in their sports. And so there's so many stories to tell, and we can hardly tell them all, even in the Hall of Champions, for sure. Wow, and this all ends next year, right? The celebration the for the, the new exhibit, the celebration for Title IX uh, will end next year. But uh, again, our women's timeline is always there, and we're always celebrating our women student athletes, as well as our males. And so of you course. can always find that in the Hall. We have to celebrate them. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. We yes. appreciate it. I'll shake your hand one more time. Uh, yes, I know. Let's Thank you. We're just so excited. I know. We are excited yes. on the Hall of Champions. <laughs> go to fox59.com slash links. We'll put everything you need to know over there for you to go check out. And again, free today. Oh, yes, and I forgot. I brought you all some shirts. Oh, those are wonderful yeah, shirts. Yeah, so we'll leave them over there, but I almost forgot to let you know. You got to represent. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and happy anniversary. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank all right, you. let's toss it back over to Brett, who's following all the issues 